This was taken from a Burr wall chart that can be downloaded from our website www.ferraro-dental.com That will take you to our home page. Scroll down to the mechanics of milling and click on it. Then click on download of a Burr configuration wall chart. Here we are again at the milling burr chart. What you're looking at is a cylindrical burr. That means the sides of the burr are parallel. This burr is a single cut and all of the flutes spiral in the same direction. This is also a cylindrical burr. However, it's double cut. In addition to having one set of flutes spiraling in one direction, it has another set of flutes spiraling in the opposite direction, forming a diamond or a crisscross pattern. In addition to being single cut or double cut, a cylindrical burr can have a flat end, meaning that the bottom of the burr has no flutes and will not cut on this end. This burr is designed to cut on its sides. This cylindrical burr has flutes on its end, so it can cut on its side or its end. With this type of burr, you can plunge cut, which is similar to drilling, but in most cases, part of the burr will be in the metal and the other part on the outside of it, creating flutes in the work. The practice pin to the left has the equivalent of a lingual shelf and an occlusal rest. The pin to the right has three vertical flutes and two occlusal rests. These are just examples of plunge cutting and milling with the end of the milling burr. A cylindrical burr can also have a radius or rounded end. As with the other cylindrical burrs, it can be either single or double cut. If you are using this burr to create a lingual shelf, the area where the vertical and horizontal meet would be rounded instead of having a sharp inside corner. A milling burr can have two diameters, the diameter of the cutting part of the burr and the shaft diameter. The diameter of the shaft will determine what category of burr it is, that is to say, friction grip, lab handpiece, three millimeter, common in European milling machines, and Ferraro burr similar to European burrs, only slightly thicker. Burrs can be made of different metals. The more common ones would be high-speed steel and carbide. Most all of Ferraro burrs are carbide. The last burr that we'll talk about is a tapered burr. It can be either single or double cut and have a variety of tapers. We hope to produce a more comprehensive video that will show when you should use these different configurations of burrs. Please keep visiting our website for the newest videos and thank you.